So for this video, I want to go over the network security flow logs for inside of Network Watcher. And remember, network security groups um, can be on the NIC on the virtual machine or on attached to the subnet. And the flow logs is just collects the IP flows going in and out of the NSG. And it, the, the flow logs operate that layer four and the logs are written in JSON format. So let's uh, enable it first on one of our virtual machines. So I'm going to VM1 and let's go to networking. And here I see the NSG is attached to the NIC of it. So let's go here, go to logs, NSG flow logs. So let's uh, create one. So this is uh, I want to look at the VM1, so it's VM1 network security group. And eh, I'll just use that storage account. Um, actually, I'll just create a new storage account. So storage B2. And after it's created, then I'll select it here and retention how many days you want to hold, keep the logs. I'll just say zero. Um, after it's done being created, I'll come back. And after I create it, uh, then I'll wait like 10 minutes. So actually some data gets created. All right, so this is created. So it automatically filled it. Go to configuration and version two. So we want version two because it provides additional throughput information and bytes and packets for flow. So we create it and I'll come back. All right, so the flow logs created and let's go to our new storage account. Uh, I only waited like a minute. Um, let's go to your containers. All right, so I'll come back when I created one. Okay, so I created some uh, logs. So let's go into it. And just gotta dive deep into it. VM, so it's based on the date, month, hour. Whoops. And here's uh, the JSON file. So go on edit and you can see all the data being recorded. So let me just highlight one um, here. So here is the timestamp. This and then this is the source IP address. And then this is the destination IP address. And then this is the source port. And then this is the destination port. And then beside that, this T is the protocol, so GCP instead of UDP. And then this I is traffic flow, so I for inbound. And then D is the traffic decision. So A for allowed. So yeah, there's there's a lot of information going on. So let's say you worked in security and you wanted to see, um, you know, the source IP addresses that are trying to connect uh, through your network security group. This, uh, these flow logs would be important because, you know, you could detect like, oh, I don't want, um, you know, this IP address and to try to connect to it because it's, you don't want to, you don't want any outside IP addresses so you could like blacklist it or maybe you just whitelist only the IPs that you want um, so there's a lot to do with it so anyway I'm just going to delete it all and everything but that's uh, network security group flow logs in the network watcher